Hello everybody, welcome back to Cannonball Cottage. Today we're going to be making a vegetable burger and uh, the, the ingredients are potato that's been pre-cooked and grated, carrot that's been pre-cooked and grated. We've got some mushrooms, some open cap mushrooms and as you can see they're very dark because uh, the underside of the mushroom is really really black. We have some uh, onions and some garlic in this one and as you can see I've got my gloves on because I've got to manhandle all this when it all goes in here to, to mix it all up and we've got some whole wheat flour so we'll start by putting in the mushrooms Um, then we'll put the onions and garlic in. There's one small onion and two cloves of garlic. Just one medium sized carrot. It's been grated. Um, I'm going to put the seasoning in now. What we've got here is we've got a dessert spoon of uh, fresh parsley. Uh, we've got some, just over, well, about three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika, three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, chili flakes, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So we'll put all that in and get so that it's uh, in, in the centre there. And then in goes the potato which again was pre-cooked. Now we'll put the flour in. Um, there's about 70 grams of flour. And then of course now, the procedure is now to mix it all together. I'm just gonna move it off this, off this hob so that we can I can get my hands into it and make it, uh, and it comes out like this sort of meaty looking, um, it gives it sort of a little impression of being meaty, as if it's got meat in it, but it's totally meat free this is, so for all you vegetarians out there, this is good. Now generally speaking, now I've, I've mixed that up. Uh, as best I can. Under normal circumstances you'd, you'd leave this to stand or put it in the fridge for an hour for it all to combine so that it comes to a a little bit of a firmer consistency. But I'm going to try and uh, make a couple of these burgers or patties or, or whatever it is that you want to call well you could actually make them into a ball that's that's also uh, you know a suggestion what you could do with them and and uh, make them like so so what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring this pan just here and I've already got some olive oil in and uh, we're going to see if we can uh, get these burgers sort of... Of course you can make them any size that you like. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, there you go, look. You just make them like so. I'll just do uh, four of them, just to show you that... Uh, not big enough. Let's just add a little bit more to that. As I say, you can make them any size that you like. You could make them smaller than this. Just to add them as a sort of a buffet snack. And of course, I shouldn't. Uh, 
we'll see if they hold together. I'm not sure if they're going to hold together but because they really needed to be um, to sit and let the flower absorb a little bit of this moisture but we'll see we'll see what happens so I'm going to leave the rest of the ingredients there get rid of my gloves to keep my uh, so uh, let's see we can just get this There you go. You need to remember which way you put them in, which was the last one. You, you go in a clock, clockwise uh, order. You should know which is the next one to turn over. I'm just going to turn that down slightly. Sort of overcooking the outside before the inside is warmed through. Look at the colour on those though, they look absolutely wonderful. They look just like beef burgers. Which uh, you may or may not want them to look like beef, but absolutely wonderful. Look at that, wonderful, wonderful. Of course you can serve these, I should be just serving them up on a plate with a little bit of salad. Um, we try not to eat too much bread but by all means you can uh, put these into a burger bun as you would with, <coughs> as you would with uh, any kind of burger but we tend to miss the bread out. Um, your choice. Well, they're coming on lovely and they smell absolutely lovely too. I'm just going to take a temperature to see where we are, how close we are with these. This is uh, my uh, temperature um, thermometer to make sure as we're we're getting there. These are already 85 degrees. That one isn't. That was the last one that we put in. Um, but to give you an idea, they are. These two here are, are cooked, and uh, I'm just going to first of all place them on a on a plate with a little bit of paper towel to soak up some of the uh, oil. Take that bit, take that away. And there you go, just takes off oil. I think these two are probably a little bit on the thicker side, that's why they haven't cooked through. <clears throat> I'll just test the temperature again. They're cooked now. Yep, they're done. I'll just turn this off. As I say, I'm just doing the the forge <coughs> just to show you what they come out like. There you go. I'll just move the pan out of the way. And uh, that's turned off. I'll just get a cloth to uh, put on there just to cover that. And uh, 
This is just how we're going to serve them. Um, now the trick is now getting them off the uh, off the paper. Works well to soak up the um, the oil. But then you get the problem of actually releasing them from. And there you go. You've got uh, two lovely veggie burgers. Um, quite easy to make. I'll just plate up the other two. Like so, see that's easier. Just fold the paper over and let it fall onto the onto the spatula, like so. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Um, mushrooms, carrot, onion, garlic, a little bit of flour. I don't think I've missed anything out, have I? I'm just going to give that a taste just to see what they've actually come out like. Look at that, beautiful. Oh yeah, oh yeah, again probably for me, it's seasoned, seasoned perfectly, it's absolutely lovely, but me being a little bit of a heat fanatic, I, I, I should have put a little bit more chilli in really, but uh, there you go, vegetable burgers, here in Cannonball Cottage in the afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed watching this little video. Please subscribe to our channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Make a comment. And I'll get back to you with any queries that you may have. Also, if you do subscribe, please click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you again soon and enjoy. Bye.